What is going on guys? It's Real Touch GML here and today is going to be another dev video uh, that uh, dev series that I'm starting up for Stick Adventures is the game. Now uh, if you're wondering about Pixelbit Trials, I actually uh, completed that game and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there will be a link in the description. That was my last dev video for an iPhone game that I actually created and that game is actually done. The only problem I am having now is Mac with is with my Mac and putting it out of the store and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, that's the only problem. But that game is actually completely done. So uh, yeah. All right. So this is actually a newer version of a game that I previously did called Stick Adventures, and I did not get too far because actually I didn't quite know what I was doing. I'm not sure what this is. Exit out. Anyways. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't even use a sprite sheet for the game. I actually had every single image separately loaded, which is inefficient. But this time around, I'm looking to go all out and create the best game that I possibly can. So if you don't know the first version, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. And uh, you can go ahead and, and check that out. But uh, yeah, basically... I started this three days ago, so this is a very, 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 very pre-alpha build, okay? Uh, and as you can see, if I load up the spreadsheet here, there's actually new art now in it too. So if you, again, if you're not, if you don't know about the last version, then this shouldn't make any sense to you, but uh, the last version of Sick Adventures, the character was completely different, but this time around, we are now actually giving him a new look. So here it is, and this running actually needs work because uh, you'll notice the animation. Uh, the player actually runs with his back leg and never actually puts his front leg down, which looks kind of odd, but we're in the works of fixing that. Basically, this is all the art I have now. So everything besides the player is uh, temp art that I've made or I took from the last Tick Adventures, okay? So going to open up the folder here, we have, you'll see we have some .lvl files here. We have our jar and our res folder with our font. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and run it. As you can see, we have a loading screen now. So basically, in a lot of games that I created, it took time to load the resources, and I actually didn't put a loading screen in, so you would just see a white screen. But this time around, we actually have a loading screen in the beginning so it kind of updates the player on what is happening and then for instance if you took out the font file out of the directory of the res and you tried running it when it got to that point it, it will notify you that it's unable to load because there's no files or anything in the game so that's pretty nice because sometimes you know when you have that white screen just out of nowhere uh, you're just waiting there for 10 minutes thinking it's still loading when it actually has stopped loading a while ago. All right, so here's the menu. Uh, again, very temporary. You'll notice <laughs> this little guy on the left here. Uh, that was my image of it. Um, basically, what the artist is going to do is he's going to create uh, this guy here looking forward with his thumbs up and looking happy and jolly and all, all that stuff. So that was my little drawing of that. Again, temp art. These blocks are all temp art as well. So, uh, yeah, that, that is actually from the last adventures. But um, yeah, so this is the basic menu. Uh, if you take your arrow keys, you can actually toggle through the menu here. There's no sounds yet in the game. Um, but so, so we have play, load, level editor, options, and quit. Okay, so we don't. I don't have actually have load or options in there. You can see that an error message comes up. Um, let me go ahead and press play first. So here we go. And again, there's some glitches with the menu and all that stuff, all that fun stuff. But anyways, so here is the basic game. Now it's just a platforming engine. So there's not really much to see here. I mean, you've got gravity. You've got jumping. You know, you've got all the top collisions and all that stuff. So it's just a platform engine now. And again, this was made three days ago, or it started to, to be made three days ago. So, I mean, don't expect a, uh, a Picasso, whoa, what the hell was I about to say? A Picasso piece of art here, okay? Um, again, just a platforming engine. It does have some bugs. Uh, so, I mean, they're just subtle bugs, like as you can see, 
half a uh, little bit of his head is going in the wall and uh, no, there's not really many they're, they're just kind of graphical glitches um, so yeah this is the basic engine now you may be thinking to yourself wow three days you only got that done well let me go ahead and run it again if we go to our level editor we press enter as you can see we now have uh, I shimmied together a little editor so as you can see we have simple blocks new save load demo now we can create a new file uh, are you sure you'd like to create a new level yes so here we go so basically you can click and place blocks down right click to delete them and you can actually use your mouse scroll wheel to toggle through different uh, blocks that you can that you can have here so we can make like a little triangle or something I actually if we, if we load up a and you press load here and I actually made simple level where you load it up and it's just a uh, it's just like a little base level of just a long a long level with the <clears throat> with the blocks here around it bordering it so if we just make like some simple thing where you know where it just sort of goes like this and uh if you notice these ramps they don't actually work yet so that's a thing that's why I actually didn't use it in the first level but here, let me just do something like this and then if we save this as say um, my level we press OK and now we press new again you can load it up just like that my level so there we go uh, you can also save it um, and if I save it as test underscore level and I save it as that and I press escape to exit the menu we press play it actually and we're kind of inboxed here <laughs> but that actually uh, loads up the level we just created because I mean that's just a test for test level and then you can see my level was added in here uh, but the test level is just a, a little test thing that it loads uh, also the dot LVLs are encrypted with binary so there's no actually like messing with the level code or anything like that so that's basically it. <laughs> that is three days worth of work. Let me know your support. Uh, if you like it, if you don't like it, I actually stream a lot of this, uh, believe it or not. I think I've streamed all of this. So if you want to watch the development of the game, there will be a link in the description for my twitch.tv channel. Uh, it's called Real Tuts. And uh, I, be I try and stream like every day. So uh, if you want to see this being made, if you have questions, I mean, that's a good way to contact me because um, I'm very active in the chats and all that stuff. So yeah, go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 80 likes. I don't know if we could do it. Uh, I hope we can. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.